Hi, welcome back. This is Jeremy with uh, Bets to PM here on the Military Transition Academy podcast for another episode. And it is Doc Wright, the founder, with us today, and me with operations, Jeremy Burdick. And we're just going to chat a little bit about a concept out of one of Doc's books, probably one of his best books, in my opinion, called Speak Civilian Fluently. And in here, we talk about provable fluency. So I know that seems kind of like a unique term, but I really wanted Doc to unpack it so that we could really understand what he means when he says it. And also if you see it on our website and how it bleeds into some of the other certifications that we have. Take yeah, cool. Thanks, JB, for uh, chatting with me, dude. So, I mean, here's basically the concept, right? So, you know, you go to these, you go to your TAP class, your transition class, your GPS class, like whatever your service branch is calling it nowadays. And it's basically the couple day class, the couple week long class where, hey, dress like this, do this on your resume, do this. But one of the things you're going to hear over and over and over is don't speak military, quit speaking acronyms, don't knife in, don't like whatever. Got it. Okay. So what am I supposed to speak? You know what I mean? If I can't speak artillery, what am I speaking? If I can't speak infantry, what am I speaking? If I can't speak standards and compliance, what am I supposed to speak? Yeah. So provable fluency is really easy. So, you know, civilian professions have their own jargon too, bro. That's what they don't tell you in the small print. Accountants talk like accountants and they sound totally different than a marketing person or uh, a project manager right down in the PMO. Uh, and I just did it to you there, project management, the project management office, the PMO. So what we've figured out at Vets to PM over the course of the last seven years uh, of doing this, helping over 6,000 military veterans land meaningful, lucrative careers in over 700 companies is provable fluency. Pick a career field that is meaningful and lucrative. So for example, you did more than one hitch. You wore E6 or above, you probably had a leadership position where you did some care and feeding. You did morale and leadership and welfare stuff, right? Whether they called you a yeoman or a chief or a master chief or a lieutenant or a platoon commander and a company commander, I don't care what they called you. If you had that leadership role and you were taking care of the troops, you can't speak combat medicine, you can't speak artillery, you can't speak infantry company commander. You say that and they don't even know what you're talking about. So one of the word tricks is, well, call yourself a director. Okay. If you say, <laughs> hey, I'm a director and they go, great, I'm going to measure you off your P&L performance. If you stare at them blankly because you have no idea what they're talking about, that's the scoreboard, dude. That's right. how they're going to judge whether you're a good director or a bad director. And right. if you don't know what that means, you aren't getting that job because any director in the Civ Div knows what a P&L statement is. And oh, by the way, it's a profit and loss statement. Right. So that's an example. Speak HR. Go get the body of knowledge or the industry terms for that career field. At Vets of PM, we, likes one, we like ones that we know are meaningful and lucrative. HR folks make great money because what they do matters to the people that they work with and for. That's true. Project management, meaningful and lucrative. Yeah. I'm here to get stuff done. What through a small, high-performing team? What the, influences stakeholders? General management. I run this shop. I run that shop. I run this company. I run that company. I run this business line, right? right. So here's the trick, yeah. dude. Here's provable fluency. You translate all your military experience, leading missions, project management, taking care of troops, HR management, running this shop, that shop, standards and eval, whatever shop, motor pool, armory, whatever, general management. Talk about it in those terms. Yeah. Translate all of your experience in those terms. So it's not a word game. I'm not swapping stuff here. I'm literally talking about my experience, legitimate experience, but I'm using terms that civilians know it in. Love then it. I'm going to literally, Jeremy, certify that all that experience that they see translated on my resume and my LinkedIn profile is valid. How do we certify it? Well, go get a project management credential. Go get an HR credential. Go get a general management credential. We've created courses that we give to our SkillBridge residents and other veterans that go to vetsopm.com and check it out. Jeremy, literally, brother, take the class, translate your resume, get the certification, certify that experience, dude. That's provable fluency. That's yeah. literally all it is. No doubt, no doubt. And in fact, I talked to a guy, uh, Army, Army guy uh, out of a motor pool, and he really, he already kind of knew the sense 
of that, of the whole provable fluency, because he talked to a hiring manager, tried to pass off this other certification, and the guy didn't know what it was. So it's the conversations that you don't have to have because you're proven that fluency just with that certification, right? It's, it saves you a whole step. You're skipping it over. And even in that case, hey, it's not the right certification, but at least you started a conversation. So in the mind of that hiring manager, unless he had a, hey, what's this certification conversation during an interview with every single other person he interviewed, you're at least memorable. Oh, good point. Good right? Point. So the cert may not apply, but you're certified in something. That's right. Now, if you're certified in basket weaving and you're applying for a, 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 a astronaut job, that's probably not going to work. Yeah. Right. But it was a project management credential on a project management credential. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good point. Good point. So Starts it's a conversation. Right. You're, you're 100 percent correct. And if you're at least you're like you said, memorable and maybe you get that second call back. And the really the cool thing was, is this this guy was using army credentialing. So all of our certs that we use minus the scrum master are eligible for the army credentialing assistance program. They don't have to pay a dime. Right? They can jump right to the website, grab an invoice, upload it into Army Ignited, use your $4,000 cap limit annually, reset, and just, and just keep proving your fluency and whatever is meaningful to you. That's right. And, and for the folks out there in uh, li podcast listening land, JB, hey, guys and gals, go check out that episode too. Jeremy uh, walks you through how to use funding sources and stuff, right? And yeah. so, you know. Make sure you click on that podcast. Check us out at vestapm.com. Um, JB, and that's all I got on provable fluency, my friend. If they want, they can just go to my LinkedIn profile, figure out how to get a copy, get their autographed, digital autographed copy uh, of how to speak civilian fluently for free because they're podcast listeners. And, uh, you know, that's right. all I got today, brother. Yeah. Another way to get the book. If you want just a digital copy today, you can just basically create an account, jump into www.bets2pm.com and then sign up for your free resources. When you do that, it'll be sitting in your student portal. So you'll have- What, kind of, what kind of free resources there, dude? Oh what are you man, talking about got, free resources? We've got all kinds of stuff. So we've got our application translator where we help you get over that initial hurdle of applying for your project management professional through PMI. Good cert if you're gonna be a project manager. We've got the CM book, right? So certified manager, how to speak civilian fluently and earn that certified manager on your first try, ICPM. So we've got this book right there in PDF form for you. You can have it in the time it took you to listen to this podcast. You could already be set up, right? Lots of other stuff, how to interview, um, how to set up your LinkedIn profile. So what we're really doing is trying to set up everybody for success. And when you're ready to prove your fluency, come back for the certification. Right on, right on, dude. Good stuff, man. So, uh, JB, thanks for your time today, brother. I'll see you over at vestapm.com. I'm going to go check it out. All right. Thanks, man.